Hey everyone, Anthony Sequeira here at Stormwind's Epic Live. We're going to do a quick Cisco video blog here on a cool, cool feature at the command line that's going to help you practice with technologies on your Cisco routers and switches, and it's really, really going to assist you when it comes to playing with a bunch of features and then almost instantaneously getting the device back to a particular baseline configuration. Let me show you what I mean. It's gonna be much easier for you to just see this at the command line than for me to try and talk about it. Watch this. Here you can see we have a Cisco router without a configuration. We can tell because we've got that wonderful name on the device of router. All right, so let's go in there and let's give some kind of a baseline configuration. I'll go into global configuration mode, for example, and I'll say, okay, this is my R1 device, and I'll go into the console mode, and I'll say things like logging sync and exec time zero zero, and I'll just make a bunch of configurations that we always want to make, right, on our Cisco equipment. This is a nice baseline. Now, obviously, I want to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, oh, copy, run, star. If I was pressed for time, I would use the WR, of course, to do the save much more quickly, but we know that WR isn't going to work in your entry-level exams in the Cisco environment. So there's my wonderful baseline config, and I've saved it. Now, I want to go in and really mess it up, right? I want to practice different things with this router, like changing its name and going into an interface and assigning an IP address. You get the idea. So you're going to go in and you're going to make a bunch of changes to that device. Now, here's the thing. You want to get right back to that baseline configuration that you were working with. Here's the magic. Watch this. We're going to say... Uh, <laughs> we're going to say configure, okay, configure, and then we're going to say replace. We'll then specify that startup config that we stored, of course, in the non-volatile RAM. And then here's a nice tip. We're going to say force. We want the operating system to immediately replace this configuration, not prompt us for anything at all. Just do it. Just do it right away. Hey, we should uh, compliments to Nike on that great just do it slogan. So watch, we go configure, replace, NVRAM, start up hyphen config, force, and you can clearly see what's happened here, folks. We got to love it. We are right back to that baseline config. We can tell easily from that R1 prompt, that original host name that we gave. So think about the power of this, folks. Think about how you're going to be able to go ahead and save this initial config, and then practice, 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 and almost instantaneously get right back to that base configuration. So start experimenting and practicing with the configuration replace command in your practice should save you a whole bunch of time and effort. Thank you so much for joining us in this video blog, and we look forward to seeing you in many more.